In this video, we are going to look at the concept of ionic bonding for your chemistry. Now, this topic is a very important one, guys. Pay attention here, all right? Very, very important aspect of chemistry. All right, after we introduce the guarantee you guys that you understand this concept of ionic bonding. So, ensure you stay at the very end of the video. We also look at basic features or characteristics of ionic bonding. All right, so having known that, let's go into the details of the video. Okay, so we're looking at ionic bonding. Okay, now let's begin by knowing what ionic bonding is all about. Now, ionic bonding is simply a type of bonding that involves the transfer of electrons from an atom, usually metallic, to another atom, usually non metallic. So, ionic bonding basically occurs between a metal and a non-metal okay so that's what you have to do for instance we have sodium chloride now sodium here is the metal chlorine here is the non-metal all right so there's a transfer of electron from a metal to a non-metal in this case the charge of this sodium sodium is positively charged here all right whereas the chlorine is negatively charged all right, sodium forms a single positive charge. Chlorine forms a single negative charge. So, sodium transfer electron. We give out electron to chlorine. Chlorine wants to receive one electron, which makes it worse to attain stability. Okay? Now, another typical example is our... Now, let's use sodium hydroxide. Okay? Now, this sodium gives us an electron. Whereas this hydroxide, a radical, receive what the electron. All right, this sodium positively charged. This hydroxide is negatively what charged. That's basically what is happening here, guys. It's a transfer of electron between a metal and a non-metal. Okay. Now note that all acids, all inorganic acids to be precise, are ionic compounds. They have ionic bonding in them. Examples of inorganic acid includes and the chloric acid we have our triazo common four acid we have our tetraozo surface six acid okay we have our triazo nitrified acid and the rest of them note again that all bases are ionic compound as well they contain ion bonding in them typical example is this sodium hydroxide we have potassium hydroxide and the rest of them okay we also have magnesium oxide so this one contain this is a weak base all right and the rest of them now we also have salts all salts are ionic compound they have ionic bond in them a typical example is this sodium chloride we have here we have sodium chloride we have our magnesium chloride okay we have our zinc Right. All right. So these are examples of sorts, common sorts. Okay. So take note of these all sorts bases and inorganic acids are what ionic compound. They have ionic bonding in, in them. All right. Now let me wipe this and show you. Now let's look at the dots and cross diagram showing how ionic compounds are formed. Okay. So let's wipe this. Okay. Now note that. Remember, we are looking at the dots and cross diagram showing how ionic compounds are formed. Okay, now these dots and cross diagram show the arrangement of electrons in an atom or ion. All right, each electron is presented by a dot or a cross. Okay, so these diagrams can show which atom the electrons in an ion originally came from. For instance, let's look at the dots and cross diagram of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride okay now the sodium atom gives up its outer electron becoming a sodium ion a single positively charged ion whereas the chlorine atom picks up the electron becoming a single negatively charged ion or that is chloride ion this one that one is now sodium ion so let's represent them diagrammatically so this is what we happen here this is the atomic structure of sodium this is the nucleus this is the first shell, all right. This is the second shell. Follow me, guys. 
this is very interesting you can't escape this topic in your GCSE chemistry all right so the many one share okay so let's draw the or let's put the remaining electron here this is sodium okay sodium atom whereas this will be our marine atom let's draw the atomic structure this is the first shell this is the second shell And this will be the third shell. Okay. Now, chlorine, as you all know, chlorine has 17 atomic number. Now, let me put this at this place so that it will be easy to illustrate. All right. Now, Basically, this is chlorine atom. Okay, so the electronic configuration here we have it to be two eight one. This one here is two eight seven. Okay, now basically what will happen is that this sodium atom, since it wants certain stability, it will lose this electron. So this atom here all right so when you lose this it this atom here we now gain the electron when this sodium loses the atom you now form a single positive charged atom to gain stability whereas this chlorine atom we now gain the electron to now form a single negatively charged atom to gain our stability all right so once this is done the new structure will not be something like this let me wipe this and show you okay now that the transfer of electrons has been made our sodium ion will not be something like this this is the atomic structure of sodium this is the first shell okay this is the second shell all right so it will not be okay now since sodium has lost one electron this will not be its new atomic structure it will not be a charged sodium okay a single positively charged sodium whereas the chlorine that received the one electron will not be a single negatively charged chlorine that's we write ion so this will not be a new structure. This is a nucleus. This is a coin shell. Okay. This is a test shell. Remember. The tertiary contains a mass number of seven electrons, but because it has received one electron now, it will not be eight electrons. Okay, so it's not completely filled. This will not be our charged chlorine. Okay, so it forms a single negatively charged atom. All right, this will not be our sodium ion. The Electron configuration will now be 2, 8, no longer 2, 8, 1. This one is our chlorine ion. The electron configuration will now be 2, 8, 8, instead of 2, 8, 7. Okay, so this is what we're going to have. Now, let me show you the previous diagram like when the transfer was occurring. Okay, so this was the previous diagram. This was when the transfer was, was occurring. Sodium atom was transferring this electron to chlorine atom. All right, so when the transfer was done, transfer of electron was done, this now became our new structure. Okay, let me remove this. So this now became the new structure. They now formed ions to attain what stability. Very important, guys. Now, let me show you. Let's look at another 
example this time around let's show the dot and cross diagrams of magnesium oxide let's wipe this okay now for magnesium oxide okay now the magnesium atom gives up its two outer electrons becoming a magnesium ion the oxygen atom picks up the electrons becoming an oxide or ion so basically let's draw the atomic structure of magnesium and oxygen when they haven't gotten charged and then draw them when they have gotten charged all right so for when they are not yet charged magnesium atom this will be the atomic structure of magnesium okay magnesium has 12 atomic number okay so this will be a dead shell all right this is for magnesium atom all right this will be for our oxygen atom oxygen has its atomic number this is the first shell this is the second shell all right so this is our oxygen atom okay now that we have drawn the their respective atomic structures when they have not gotten charged so the ionic bonding here and now is that this magnesium atom we lose these two electrons to we lose these two electrons to this atom oxygen atom so they will now come here so when you lose these, these two electrons it will now form a magnesium ion normally a double positively charged atom or ion whereas this one again also will now form a negative ion that's a double negatively charged atom or ion so let's draw the structures now when the atoms have gotten charged so it should now be something like this magnesium ion will now have this structure this is the first shell instead of having 12 atomic number now you now have 10 because it has lost two word electrons so this is what we're going to have magnesium so this will now be magnesium ion 2 plus all right whereas our oxygen ion our oxide ion will now be something like this, this is the first shell instead of having eight atomic numbers now have about 10 because it's received extra two from magnesium okay so this is basically what's happening here guys this will now be our oxygen ion okay so that's basically what's happening here guys initially the electron configuration for this one was two eight two this one was two six this time i want that we have gotten charged is now two eight and this one is also what two eight okay so that's basically what occurred all right when the transfer of electron happened they became charged with atoms so i think was stability like that of noble gases okay now let's look at one more example before we call it a class all right so after this example now you'll be able to do it on your own let's wipe this okay now don't forget to put the charge when it became charged atom very important guys very important this will not be our two plus charged whereas this one will not be our two negative charge okay very very important guys don't forget to close it like this to indicate that this is now what a charged atom all right now let's look at one more example and after it you'll be able to do it on your own let's write this guys okay now let's look at the ionic bonding in this compound magnesium chloride okay now in magnesium chloride the magnesium atom gives up these two outer electrons becoming a magnesium ion the two chlorine atoms pick up one electron each becoming two chloride ions so basically let's represent it the dots and cross diagrams okay so 
for when the we are still atoms not yet charged we're going to have it to be something like this so this will be the structure of magnetism it has 12 atomic number okay this will be the dead shell now for the chlorine atoms it's going to be something like this this will be the first chlorine atom okay this will be the second shell chlorine has 17 atomic number okay now this will be the second chlorine atom tell me guys this is very very interesting okay and this will be the dead shell now this magnesium atom what will happen here basically is that it will give out these two electrons to attain stability to become an ion all right so these two electrons it will give us they will be picked up by the chlorine atoms each of the atoms we gain one electron from these two electrons this magnesium atom will release so when these two electrons are released okay so one we go to this chlorine atom and one we go to this chlorine atom so for them certain was stability now when this occurs our new ionic structure of them may not be let me sketch it in another slide let me remove this slide and sketch the ionic structure in another slide okay guys so the new ionic structure of the atoms will now be something like this this is chlorine this is sequential okay so this will be a dead shell this time around the chlorine has a dense stability it is not charged now this will be the magnesium right and this will be the other chlorine atom okay the both chlorines have attained stability now looking like argon noble gas where the magnesium is looking like neon noble gas okay now let me show you the previous structures the previous atomic structures this is the previous one we had now in this member that this is our magnesium atom this is our chlorine atom the electronic configuration here was two eight two here was two eight seven here was two eight seven all right now that the transfer of electron has been done the new electronic structure will not be let me remove this so this is what it will not be we will not be two eight eight the magnesium will not be two eight the way here will still be two eight eight all right this is now our chloride ion this is now our magnesium ion all right this is now our chloride ion now don't forget to enclose it like this indicating that it's now a charged atom the chlorine form a single negative charge the magnesium will form a double positive charge so plus this chlorine will also form a single 
negative charge all right so this is basically what will happen when the transfer of electron between magnesium and chlorine happens all right this is magnesium chloride okay so that's it for this kind of example guys this is actually what happened here all right now i would have loved to end the class but i want to show you one more example very important so that you know how to deal with any situation okay now let's look at that of sodium oxide let's look at the dots and cross diagram of sodium oxide and after we can call it a glass let's write this okay guys we are now looking at sodium oxide okay now for sodium oxide two sodium atoms each give up their single outer electron becoming two sodium ions all right the oxygen atom picks up the two electron becoming what oxygen ion all right that's oxide ion basically so what will happen here is let me draw the atomic structure of sodium atom we're going to draw two atomic structure of sodium atom and one of oxygen atom so basically this is going to look like this for sodium this is sodium sodium has 11 atomic number this is the second shell okay and this will be the third shell all right so to have this this will be the second sodium atom okay so this is basically what we are going to have this will be the third shell all right remember this is our sodium atom whereas this will be our oxygen atom oxygen has eight atomic number okay this is oxygen atom now what will happen here is that these sodium atoms will transfer this electron to this this one will transfer its own here as well so when they transfer it to this oxygen this oxygen will now gain two electrons and it will now attain stability all right now these three atoms now form charges to attain what stability now the new ionic structure of them now will now be remember the electronic configuration of these atoms here will be this one is two eight one this one is two eight one this one will be two six all right now that they have gained stability their ionic structure now will not be let me show you let me move this okay so it will now be something like this this is the sodium atom All right, it's now have two shells instead of three. This will be the oxygen atom in the middle. Oxygen has attained stability. It's now like a neon gas structure. The other sodium will be here with the nucleus. All right so this is basically what happened here guys okay now don't forget to include them since they have gained charges sodium will form a single positive charge oxygen will form a double negative charge and this sodium will also form a single positive charge okay now the electronic configuration will now be two eight this is two eight this is also a two eight this is sodium ion this is oxygen ion and this is what sodium ion okay so this is basically what occurred here the three atoms the three charged atoms are now stable having the same electronic configuration with that of neon all right so guys this is basically how you can represent the dot and cross diagrams of 
ionic bonding occurring in ionic compounds if you see it in your chemistry of course you will definitely come across this kind of question because this is a very important aspect of chemistry bonding particularly ionic bonding okay before you call it a class now let's look at the basic features of ionic compounds now one of the characteristics of ionic compounds is that the form ions are not molecules now note that another name for ionic compound is electrovalent compound electrovalent all right so is it that you call it ionic compound or you call it what electrovalent compound just like here this is sodium oxide so this is ionic compound or what electrovalent compound either of the names is correct okay now one of the characteristics is that the form ions are non molecules another one is that most of them are soluble in water another characteristic of them is that they have high boiling and melting points okay another characteristic of them is that they are good conductors of electricity and heat all right so they can conduct electricity so take note of these basic four features of ionic compound and others but it's the main Four, you have to know one more you have to know that they exist as solids as room temperature so just know this five they exist as solid as what well, room temperature so with this let's call it a class so we something interesting from this video now if you are new to the channel be sure you check the description of the video below you see link to our telegram channel click on it and join the telegram channel for instant notifications to ensure that you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this like share comment on this video to tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class now if you seem to have any specific questions as regarding this topic feel free to be a question at the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response okay so that's it for this one guys thanks for watching now click on the end screen above and i see you in the next video